module testing. Now we've made a separate section for this. What we assume is you have gone through the various manufacturers' signal protocol. You verify that the signal is actually arriving at this module. Now we want a diagnosis. And one of the obvious things, look for corroded connectors. This is a picture of one we had that was causing a lot of problems. The car intermittently died out and stalled. No one could figure it out. We removed the module and found this. We've seen push pins where things wouldn't work. We've seen pins where people have stuck probes in them and they were making intermittent contact because they were now bigger than they were supposed to be. Look for the obvious things. Here's one that had tons of corrosion. It also caused an intermittent problem. We take the time to show you these because they have caused people problems. Here's one that was eating everybody's lunch. They couldn't figure out what was wrong. We looked at this and said, hey, this vehicle's been in a flood. We don't have a solution for you on a flooded vehicle. There's a lot of connectors that are damaged, short, get, got dirt, corrosion, and contamination in them. We're not telling you how to fix them. We're telling them, do look for them because they got more than one and a half. Now, one of the things we expect to see is battery voltage and, and the uh, grounds working properly. Now, when we check a PCM or any module, we want to see B plus within a half a volt of the battery. That's ideal. Uh, but research has shown us that once voltage reaches about 1.98, this is a statistically arrived at number. It will cause communications problems between a scan tool and a PCM. Now that's one specific area we know about. So we're getting approaching two volts difference between battery voltage and what the voltage at the, at the module is. You will start seeing communication problems. We have observed this between a scan tool and a PCM but we're sure it applies to other modules as well. We also got to check grounds. Normally, we expect to see very low voltage on grounds. But our research has shown us that when the ground voltage gets up to about point, point 0.947 volts, again, this is a statistically arrived at number, communications problems start occurring between the PCM and the scan tool. Now we did this by having scan tool problems and tried to find out what was causing it. We told you early on that you can cause scan tool problems when the ground voltage is too high or the battery voltage is quite different than what it should be. Now these are just some of the hints of things to look for. Once you've checked these two areas and you have the correct signal at a module and it's not working, change the module. You have identified a, brown, a bad module. We verified the powers and grounds and connectors, and we know they're not causing the problem. Don't forget to reprogram the module if it needs to be programmed. 